Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to help if you think your dog may be having a heart attack. Now, canine heart attacks are fortunately still comparatively rare in the UK. Um, they can occur in dogs of any breed, um, although um, flat-faced dogs are more likely um, to experience them. They're more likely to experience breathing problems as well. However, some parts of the USA, they're beginning to report an increase um, in canine heart attacks. And that's due to um, the increased amount of fatty food that their dogs are consuming, um, the reduced amount of exercise, and an increase in pet obesity. Um, and these pets are also showing an increase in diabetes and atherosclerosis. So these are diseases that have you know, traditionally been human diseases that um, because of lifestyle, a lot of, um, or quite a few dogs are beginning to experience them. So the key thing to keep your pet healthy is a sensible diet, decent amounts of exercise, um, and keep their weight to within their normal limits. So just as um, with a human, a heart attack in a, in a pet, occurs when the coronary arteries, so the arteries that surround the heart, become blocked or sometimes they leak. But usually it's because they, block, they become blocked and this cuts off the blood flow to the, to the heart muscle. And when the heart muscle is deprived of blood, it will die. So the severity of the heart attack depends how large a blood vessel has been blocked and then consequently how much of the heart muscle has been affected and also whereabouts in the heart um, it's been affected. And if the heart muscle um, dies, it reduces the ability for the heart to contract and pump the blood to the brain and around the heart to the cardiac um, coronary arteries to keep the heart and the brain full of oxygenated blood. So exactly the same as with a human, that's what's happening um, in a dog. And dogs can have the same sort of health problems as humans, so they can have heart disease and heart failure too. Um, and because of this as well, dogs have been helpful to humans as research models in heart attack studies. And it's thanks to dogs that um, CPR was discovered, and it's thanks to dogs that the first defibrillator was discovered too. So, um, important to keep your dog healthy but important to be grateful to them too for the um for for the help that they've given us in in having human cpr and human um defibrillators too so we're learning from each other all the time so unfortunately with dogs the first recognizable symptoms of a heart attack is usually collapse so canine canine heart attack symptoms can be subtle so spot early um, and have your pet checked up regularly by your vet so you know what is normal for them. So if your pet is suddenly appearing very unwell, they may be vomiting, panting, they have an increased heart rate, uh, they may have a fever, pain in the front legs, difficulty standing, um, being a bit immobile, they could have a seizure because a seizure can occur if you have a reduced blood supply to the brain. Um, if they are behaving very unusually and they appear ill, get them to the vet quickly and they will investigate and find out what's going on. Now, long-term health conditions will increase the risk. So as we said before, keep their, um, their, their weight down to, to normal limits. Um, because carrying additional weight increases their blood pressure and the amount of cholesterol in their bloodstream. And basset hounds, bulldogs and beagles are more susceptible to heart attacks than other breeds. Diabetes um, makes it more likely um, that your dog could experience a, a heart attack. And sometimes bacterial infections, particularly um, cardiac ones, um, can cause problems and make the heart a little bit weaker. Um, as can vasculitis when the blood vessels become in inflamed. Um, and um, if they've got low thyroid as well, um, that can also slow um, the blood flow and make it more likely. 
So if you um, take your pet to the vet and you suspect they're having a heart attack, your pet will um, give them an ECG. So a 12 lead ECG, just the same as with humans, um, it won't be a, 12, a bit of special dog, <laughs> dog ECG. Um, they may do an echocardiogram um, to um, detect and see what the heart muscle's doing. Um, they'll probably do some blood cultures and have a proper look at um, liver and kidney tests just to rule everything else out. Um, they'll check their urine um, and they may prescribe medication just like with humans if they detect a heart condition. You know, dogs can be put on diuretics to reduce the fluid um, that can build up um, in their lungs if your heart's not working properly. Um, and they may prescribe heart medication too. The important thing is, is to um, get them diagnosed and then you can have the appropriate treatment. I hope that's been useful. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets.